The very first thing you'll do after you install Doc2Help is create a project. Creating new Doc2Help projects in Microsoft Word is super easy. It only requires a few steps in the new project wizard. You can start by clicking the File Doc2Help menu option. Then click the New Project button. Give your project a name. By default, your new project files will be stored in the Documents My Doc2Help Projects folder, but you can click the Browse button to choose another location. The next page of the wizard is only important if you already have another Doc to Help project somewhere and want to use all of its project settings in your new project. Otherwise, you can just click Next. Choose the language you want to work in and click Next again. On the next page of the wizard, you can specify which template to use when you create new Microsoft Word source documents for your project. The templates that are listed in the dropdown aren't just your everyday ordinary templates that you use when you create a new Word document outside of a Doc to Help project. No, these are all special Word templates provided by Doc2Help. They're special because they enable you to use unique Doc2Help options that let you do lots of things in your documents that you couldn't do in Word by itself. The templates that are listed come in different sizes and layouts, so choose one of the templates based on your preferences. However, don't worry too much at this point about which one you choose, because it will just be the initial template that is selected when your project is loaded, and you can always choose a different template later. In fact, after the project is created, you may want to add and open multiple templates from the project ribbon so that you can take a closer look at each one. You can learn more about source templates as well as their complementary target templates by watching the Templates and Styles video. On the next page of the wizard, you can select an initial target that you want to use. A target is a file that takes your content and project settings, puts it all together, and generates your output. As you can see on this page, Doc2Help lets you choose from many kinds of output. Most of the output types are designed for online documentation. NetHelp is the one we recommend most. In addition to the online formats, you can choose Printed Manual, which is used to generate print-based output. And by print-based output, we mean Microsoft Word documents and PDF files. After your project is created, you might even decide to have multiple targets based on the same kind of output. Likewise, you can remove other targets that have output formats you don't plan on using. For more details about targets, see this topic in the online help. And for more information about each of these output types, see this topic in the online help. So this page of the wizard is kind of like the previous page for choosing a template in that you are simply selecting an initial target based on one of the output types. Keep in mind that you can always choose a different target later after your project is created. So what you select at this point in the wizard isn't the most crucial decision in the world. The most crucial decision in the world is deciding what's for dinner. After you click Next, you can tell Doc2Help which documents you want your project to start out with. The first option will create a brand new Word document based on the source template you chose a few pages back. The second option will open up another wizard that lets you choose some existing Word documents you've already created and saved somewhere. Regardless of the option you choose, you can always create more brand new Word documents or add more existing ones later from the Documents window pane in the Doc2Help project panel in Word or the project ribbon. Once you finish the wizard, your project is populated based on your selections. What's next? Well, you can add content in your Word documents. See the Source Documents and Content video for more about that. You can also do several things to make sure your output looks the way you want. For more on that subject, see the Templates and Styles video. Also see the Themes video. You're also going to want to create the various targets based on the outputs you want to produce. And for each target, there are different settings you need to provide. The Developing Targets video talks about that. When you're all done creating your documents, adding content, making sure everything looks good, and defining your targets, you'll want to generate your output. For more about that, see the Building Output video. Thanks for watching, and happy authoring!